Greetings, this is September 5th at 5 p.m. We are looking at a section from NASA's Worldview linked below, and you can see the cloud cover for today on their latest update. If we pull back and look at the province, uh, hot at Cathedral Lakes Manning Park stands right out. There's a lot of volatility and intensity there. Northwards, we can see some infrared on the Elephant Hill. But let's go back to September 4th yesterday and look at that image. And one of the things we discussed in the video at uh, 10 p.m. update was the smoke in the area to the northeast of Young Lake. Well, it turns out there is now an evacuation order in place for that area. Uh, there's a map included and the link is posted below. Because it is an active wildfire, situation changes, winds are moving around. If you're anywhere near the proximity of this fire perimeter, you have to be on high alert. We've jumped over to the NRC's infrared map. The link is below. We can see a lot of hot spots to the north around the ray field, but not a lot being displayed under that smoke towards Egan Lake. If we look at the map, we can see it extends from the North Bonaparte down Egan Lake Road, and it forms this triangle from Price Creek at the north, Dickey Creek at the south, and Graham, just north of Graham Creek on the western side. Within the interior of this fire perimeter expansion, there's Peel Lake and a lot of, it appears, wetlands, marshlands. If you're local to the area, you'll know the highways, byways, the thoroughfares, and where these landmarks are. So this is an overview to give you any information that I'm seeing on the screen. And I just want to say that since I've been doing these updates, I've noticed every map is different and displays the information differently. They're at different angles, perspectives, and you want to verify what you're looking at. We've moved into a screen from the Google Earth KML bundle. This is available on the link below. Uh, the VIIRS system has been very busy. It, it just chokes and uh, Google Earth won't load up. There's probably a lot of people trying to access data, especially with the fires in California now. And its most recent update was probably from this morning. I picked it up at about 2.21, and we've already had an update since then. But it, it's a review of the activity in the area. I was just able to grab the 4.15 p.m. screen, and it's showing no change or increase at this time just aging orange 12-hour infrared. And as you can see, there's no infrared being displayed in the lower right portion of your screen near Egan Lake. So we have to rely on the official bulletins and updates because they have the eyes on the ground and in the air. Chappie726, one of our viewers, kindly relayed information regarding a controlled burn uh, north of Tin Cup Lake. And I've been suspecting, because of the activity around here, it's been intense for a while, that uh, crews are doing control strategies. And I want to say thank you very much for adding to the comments section, because uh, it confirms the data, and it keeps me on track, uh, because uh, I'm seeing what's on these screens, not on the ground. In the central region of the Elephant Hill wildfire, where we are picking up infrared, I'm seeing no further expansion eastward towards Chartrand. And there are some 12-hour spots on the southern tips of these fire pockets, so that's something to note. And if we go back up to the ray field, we are looking at the most eastern spot, a new 6-hour and when I click on it, I can see that one came in at approximately 11.34 this morning on the Terra Modis. Let's go back to the EO browser. The link is below. And this is the uh, European Space Agency Sentinel-3, part of their Copernicus program. We're looking at the northern flank Elephant Hill wildfire. And we can see those plumes of smoke. We can see Green Lake in the top left the Bonaparte and Loon Lake in the lower left, and we can see Egan Lake 
towards the right hand portion of your screen. They have different filters. Uh, we've gone to an RGB mode and it's to isolate where new fire plumes might be traveling. Let's zoom in on the area between Egan Lake in the top right and Young Lake in the lower left. It's very blurry. It's hard to perceive what's going on on the ground, but we can change some of those filters. Here we're going to the RGB, and yes, we can see some plumes in the center of your screen. They look like they were flowing to the northeast, maybe even perceive a burn area beneath them. We see the valley heading up towards Egan Lake in the kind of from the bottom of the screen up to the upper right. Here we've switched to the chlorophyll filter. It's another source of data. What areas are emitting vegetation? Uh, we see the black and the gray that could be overshadowed by smoke, but it lets us know where this activity is occurring, and it's one more way of confirming. We are zooming out to look at the northern flank again, to look at these plumes on the Sentinel-3 system. We see the smoke arising from that area north of Tin Cup. We see it arising from the area south of Sheridan. We'll switch over to the chlorophyll monitor. Those gray and black patches could be obscured by smoke, cloud. We can see Green Lake left of center, Sheridan top right of center, Bridge Lake is there, and Egan Lake over on the right hand side. What I am seeing is a lot of these areas may be still emitting a lot of chlorophyll. The satellite system may be having difficulty perceiving. I'll refer you to the EO browser. The link will be below. Uh, it requires specialty in botany, satellite data interpretation. Uh, what we can see here is what I'm viewing on an Android screen. Over to Windy now, and I'm seeing eight kilometers an hour coming from the southeast. There is no real change. It should actually get a little bit slower until Thursday early in the morning it should stop switch and come from the northwest at increased velocity uh, gusts could go up in the mid to high 30s and shortly after we might get some precipitation we've switched over to the big bar cam uh, I'm seeing that haze in the distance but most of it appears to be overcast sky if we go over to the Big B cam, it looks much the same. It appears to have cleared up. There was some smoke. It looked like filtering around in the area. And if we go to the Sheridan cam looking west towards Lone Butte and 93 Mile, more of this particulate fog floating around the area. And finally, the cam at Beto Tree, the link is below, uh, pointing west, southwest. We are seeing plumes, dark plumes, in the background on the horizon, and they appear to be flowing northwest. So you want to check the links below. You want to check the bulletins and alerts because it is an active wildfire. Things are changing rapidly. You want to verify your position, know your escape route, have all your resources ahead of time, and please be safe, everyone. Thank you.